It's time for Joel Hetrick's annual mid-season charge. And to prove this is a tradition that'll keep on going, he hit Ironman Raceway in Indiana, his best track, and dominated the proceedings. While everyone else was having bad luck and struggled to simply get to the finish line, Hetrick was dialed in with a first moto victory. Still looking to close in points on series leader Chad Weenan, Hetrick nailed a great start in the first moto, leaving Weenan to make up ground behind him. Jeff Rostrelli and Thomas Brown battled hard for a podium spot, while Ronnie Higgerson and others battled the track right to the ground. Hetrick cruised to the second moto win. A 1-1 brings him within three points of Weenan. A showdown looms today at High Point. Lots of history at this racetrack. It's High Point Raceway in Mount Morris, Pennsylvania. The ATV National Motocross Championship presented by CST Tires. I'm your host, Jason Wigand. The hills and off-cambers of High Point have been hosting ATV racing since the earliest days of the 1980s. These are hardy fans here, and even with those storm clouds on the horizon, they know that's just part of the story. See Chad Weenan and Jeremiah Jones, two giants in this industry, having a talk. And they know that today could be a day where weather is a factor, there's AMA Pro Series manager Harv Whipple working his way through tech inspection. These machines are shiny and ready to go. I hope it doesn't rain on them today. There's Dylan Tremellen's ride. Wes Lewis getting some last minute wrenching on his machine. Drake Coling with the absolute brightest color combination out there. And speaking of bright, spotlight shining on Joel Hetrick picking up momentum after winning last race. What's up everyone, we're here at round five at High Point MX. Uh, track's looking really good. The weather's holding off for us so far. Track kind of reminds me of Ironman, um, and that was a good day for me at Ironman. I went 1-1 there. Three points down now, heading into this race. So we're in the ballpark, and uh, you know, at looking at the track, it looks like you know I could potentially have another 1-1 finish here if everything goes right. Um, there's some weather looking like it's gonna come in around 2.30. But if we get one moto in in the dry and one in the wet, I mean, we're prepared for both. So either way, we're going to have fun and uh, try to stay on the podium and stay consistent, and do what we can, and uh, have a safe race. Now we're going to check in with Chad Weenan trying to win the championship back this year. Got the full fenders because of the potential mud today. Here's Chad. First time for us being here on the new track layout, and uh, we haven't even been able to ride it yet. Uh, we're going to go off for practice here shortly, and. Um, yeah, just kind of excited to get out there. Went back home after Ironman, uh, being able to get acclimated to the hard pack tracks, the clay tracks, and uh, yeah, it's been a good stay so far, and uh, got a lot of riding in, got like seven days of riding in, so I had a good stay at home, and uh, I'm prepared, I'm ready for this weekend here at a high point, and see what this new track layout has to offer for us. Well, everyone's going to get to see that new track layout in just a moment. They are lining up and ready for our qualifiers and practice. Stay tuned. ATV Motocross is brought to you by CST Tires, by Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and by Maxxis. Thomas Brown rolling down to the starting line area. Joel Hetrick, Chad Weenan, some of the big stars out here qualifying now at High Point Raceway. In the ATV National Motocross Championship, riders getting a chance to survey the track and also race against the stopwatch to see who the fastest qualifier will be. Big jumps and lots of huge jumps out here. The track underwent a serious redesign last season. First time the ATV boys got a chance to uncork themselves on it. After some weather really wrecked the race a year ago, Thomas Brown airing out the big tunnel double. Watch this jump here. Oh, Rastrelli! Jeffrey goes down, luckily hit that embankment, got some grass dug into his helmet, but otherwise he was okay. In fact, you can see the grass on top of the visor. Didn't even slow him down one bit. He got lucky on that one. Hey, Nick Janusa out of New Jersey. Parker Rewerka on the number nine, clearing the big triple. Wesley Wolf, nice job, scrub, whip, making it look good on that 741. Zach Kesmark airing out the 41 to the top of the hill. This is Hayden Mickelson, one of the newer riders in the pro class. Dylan Tremellen is a Pennsylvania native, so he's happy to be here. Wes Lewis on the familiar number 79. There's Coling. Yeah, it gets over that triple in a very brightly colored machine that we mentioned earlier. Here's Sammy Rowe getting some air time. 
Joe Hedrick is your fast qualifier today. That happens a lot, <laughs> no matter what track it is. Let's see who can knock Hedrick and Weenan off. Same old story, you know the 84. Thomas Brown capable of doing it, but he's got one eye on the track and one eye on the weather today as well. In my opinion, if it's gonna rain, let it rain. I really hope for a dry race and keep this momentum going. It's been a, a good couple of weeks. I had a good run in Texas, not the good results with a DNF, then Ironman we finally got in the box. Now here, I wanna keep this momentum going, but if it's gonna rain, let it pour and let's have a mutter. You know, back in Italy, when I got to be a part of the QXON team, we, uh, it was a good mutter for that last moto. I ended up taking the win and going first 1-1 one, one in my professional career. So, you know, it's uh, that was a team event, but it was still cool to do it. And, and I, if it's muddy, I like it to be really muddy. I don't like in between where it's slick, but, you know, not really muddy yet. If it's gonna be muddy, let's let it pour. So, looking forward to this weekend. Whether it's gonna be rain or dry, we're gonna go have a good time and see what we can do. Well, it has not rained yet. Riders have umbrellas. They've got the mud set up prepared. Bit of a gamble here. We'll go racing after this. ATV Motocross is brought to you by CST Tires, by Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and by Maxis. Let's rack them up and go racing. It's Moto One here at High Point Raceway. Weenan and Hedrick are lined up elbow to elbow. Zach Kazmarek, there's this 84 of Thomas Brown. We got the helmet cam here on Jeff Rastrelli. We had that big header in practice. Rocky Mountain ATV MC gonna give you the footage. Let's go racing. Good start for the 44 of Weenan. Oh, he and Hedrick are side by side and they're going to give it to Hedrick. So the Pennsylvanian in his home track, exactly where he wants to be, leading the pack, Rastrelli up to third, right behind them. And this is what gives the challenge at High Point, ups and downs, the entire track laid out in a valley, so very few parts of the track are flat. Look at Rastrelli in third, attacking Weenan early. Jeffrey has been very good in the opening laps of the races this year, in fact, has made some passes on those two proven champions ahead of him at several motos this year, and he's trying to do it right now with Weenan. Oh! And clipping the jump is Hedrick. He's off the side of the track on the water truck road. Weenan is by. Rastrelli is by. We're gonna find out who else. New section right here. They used to go through a series of jumps. Now they hang a left, go all the way back down the hill, off camera corner at the bottom. They come back up and look at Rastrelli trying to take the lead from Weenan. Uphill triple into the finish line corner. Great racing side by side past the mechanics area. They hook up again in turn one. Rastrelli around the outside, can he hold it? No, Whedon's gonna keep him in second. Another off camera and now the big tunnel jump. Can either of them hit this? Not able to do it while using the main race line. Rollers downhill, it is so hard to get stopped for this right hander. So Rastrelli wisely goes all the way to the berm, tries to use the momentum. Still can't make the pass, but great racing out front. Meanwhile, Joel Hedrick is in the back of the pack. Thomas Brown, Janusa Kazmarek come through next, and here is Hedrick, 13th. And you hear the fans cheering for him. Up front, Weenan continues to lead Rastrelli. Big moment of the race here for Jeffrey. Oh, and I think he clipped. That's gonna allow Weenan to open up a little bit of ground, and that's what I was alluding to. Jeffrey's been very quick in the opening two, three laps of the motos. Can he maintain it all the way? If he cannot make the pass on Weenan now, it's going to be advantage Weenan, who has proven he can just run that pace all day long. Brown and A, Nick Janusa. They were tussling back there for third. Brown has a third place spot at the moment. Rastrelli right back up on the rear tires of Weenan. Boy, this is so hard pack and slick. This almost looks like an old TT race back to the old Grand National Championship days. So hard to get traction in the corners and you'll notice it's staying pretty centered on the machines in the corners. All about trying to find traction instead of stability here. Little bit of a lean for both riders in that left. Flashback to third Brown, Janusa, Kazmarek. Good job by Kazmarek keeping some proven podium riders right in front of him. Hedrick, meanwhile, has caught the back of the pack. 
go back up front. Rastrelli not going anywhere. He is stuck right to that rear grab bar of Weenan. That uphill double, though, is a bit of a problem. Battle for third continues to rage behind the lead duo. And Thomas Brown is not that far off. Laps click off. Rastrelli keeps the heat on. It's such a good drive in this section. Gets right up on him and a nice move to the inside. This where he's got to get traction on the exit of this corner. He's got it. So Rastrelli, who I knew would be strong the first two or three laps, goes deep into this one. Takes the lead at the beginning of lap number five. So lots of shakeups here. First, Hedrick goes down with the lead, gets up in last. He's still fighting his way through traffic, while Rastrelli has pulled a huge pass to get Whedon for the lead. ATV Motocross is brought to you by CST Tires, by Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and by Maxis. Can Jeff Rastrelli hold on? He has had Chad Whedon on his bumper the last few laps after making the pass on him for the lead. And it is not easy to go right after the multi-time series champ and just rip it away like that. Look at Joel Hetrick on the number one. He has cut through half the field. He just made another pass. He's up to fifth around Zach Kasparic. Unbelievable run. And it is a points desperation run because Weenan and Rastrelli are long gone. You've got to figure Weenan knows exactly what's going on. He saw the problems early for Hetrick. He knows he's way back. He's got to try to win this moto and shove Rastrelli between he and his championship rival. Rastrelli certainly not making it easy up front. Meanwhile, Hedrick has caught Janusa. Oh, and boy, did he make that easy. Finding traction where there wasn't any on the inside of that off camber right. And these hard pack conditions working well for Hedrick. And also working well for the 28. Rastrelli continuing the lead. And look at the gap they have over everyone. Hedrick riding well, though and up to fourth. Rastrelli on the Baldwin Ford Brothers racing ride, and you can see he's really pushing hard into the corners because of all the pressure he's dealing with. Can he do it? Can he get a straight up moto win against Chad Whedon? Oh, you can hear it. Oh no, he stalled! And they're tangled up, he and Whedon are tangled. What is this gonna do for Brown? What will it do for Hedrick? There's Brown. Oh, a disaster. Hedrick's going to get them as well, and Rastrelli cannot start the machine. Finally does, and Janusa gets by him, so a disaster. This could have been a crowning achievement for Jeffrey Rastrelli to get this win, and he stalled it coming into that off-camber. It made all the difference, and now Thomas Brown is hanging on to second place by his fingernails with Hedrick all over him. Honestly, in some of the sections of the track, Hedrick could probably even see their leader win, and then he went down on lap one. Whoa! They almost tangled in midair as the white flag is coming out. Weenan was able to escape. He got held up quite a bit when Rastrelli stalled, so that has allowed everyone to tighten back up, but I cannot believe as the white flag is out. These three riders are this close. Hedrick is trying to get to second. And this is a corner where he's done a lot of damage. Brown, the veteran, not going to give the inside to him. Oh, meanwhile, this is Rastrelli versus Janusa. Janusa just bulldozing from one side of the track to the other on the Gen USA machine, but it's not going to work. Rastrelli will not be denied. Has to be riding with anger right now. Gets the position back. Oh, Hedrick really desperate dances down to the inside and makes it happen. Joel Hedrick, a comeback of epic proportions, last to second. He's got to hang on with another mistake. Oh, Brown tried to get it back, and Brown has flipped it. He saw an opening and tried to strike. It has taken the Texan down. Checkered flag in one of the wildest photos we've seen in years. It goes to win in Hetrick from last to second. Rastrelli ends up third, but that doesn't tell the story. I don't know how these guys are going to get relaxed, rested, and get ready for Moto2. You see Jeff Rastrelli staring at the track. He's got that eye of the tiger right now. He knows that first photo should have been his. Let's re-rack him and go racing again at high point.
Hedrick leads him around, gets up on the bicycle, goes wide. Chad Wheenan going to lock down the whole shot. Tremellan right there on the 940. And that inside line did not work for Hedrick there, so he lost several positions for Strelly right where he wants to be, up to second. Tremellan pushing with the third place rider, or he is in third, pushing with the fourth place man. Hedrick almost tangled up with someone else on the launch to that jump. I think that was the nine of Wawurka. Lots of air time on this track, and we have seen it wreak havoc with all those crashes in the first moto. And it is close combat early on here in Moto2, and it is causing trouble again, especially this little split section. Thomas Brown, a huge crash in the first moto there on that last lap. That was spectacular. Luckily, he's okay and back for this one. So Chad Wainan leads the first lap of Moto2 at high point. The first photo results do not indicate at all how great that race was. And that just means that everyone is still in position for the overall. Restrelli can win this one, and Weenan gets shuffled back a bit. He could win it. Weenan is certainly in control of the destiny by leading. And then there's Hedrick, second in Moto 1. If he gets a win in Moto 2, this is all his. And he likes these inside lines. He's, again, able to get traction where no one else can. Around the outside, Hedrick putting a challenge to Restrelli. Working him inside and outside in every corner. Look at this. Even in places where you cannot make a pass, he almost does. Sending it into this left hander. Split line. Who's going to work in favor of their wheel to wheel into the valley? Wide open at the top. And Hetrick hops over the double and takes over the number two position. Rastrelli riding well, but Hedrick is absolutely on fire today. Can he track down Chad Wheenan, who continues to lead? ATV Motocross is brought to you by CST Tires, by Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and by Maxis. The battle we all expected. It's for the lead again. Chad Wheenan and the effervescent Joel Hedrick, who has had a wild day today, but there's just no quit in the kid here at his home race. Not letting any of this get him down. He has caught Wienan. Wienan, very tough to pass. He's a veteran, multi-time champion of the series. Not going to give you the good line, but we have seen Hedrick invent some lines today to make passes. Meanwhile, we're working in a good battle with Janusa. Big triple from Hedrick. Going to get the drive down into the valley. They will be at near top speed at the bottom of this. Both able to get over that double. Back to Wawurka and Janusa. Back to the leaders. Hetrick's going to be on the outside, hung out to dry in that finish line corner. Nothing he can do there. But he loves, this is the left, he loves this right that's coming up. Used it to make moves in the first moto. He is practically bumping Chad Wienan right now. Unbelievable, the relentlessness. I cannot believe, oh, they do touch. I was going to say, I can't believe they haven't hit each other. Hedrick temporarily off track. Well, he is letting Chad Wienan know he's back there. Here we go again. Jeff Rastrelli quiet in third. Another great race for him. But when Hedrick is pushing the pace like this and the boundaries, and Wienan is trying to match him to hold him off, it's a tough task for anyone to keep them in sight. Here's the split lane again. Oh, Sammy Rowe is out. The nerf bar came off. And it looks like Joel has taken the lead from Chad. That split lane back there, Chad, I believe was off the track. And that was the opening that Hedrick needed. And that is the application of extreme pressure. That's what it results in. Even a veteran like Whedon, it can make mistakes when you have someone literally I mean, literally pushing on your grab bar. They were bumper to bumper in several corners. And now Hedrick looking to get away. And if he turns that first lap crash in the first moto into an overall win with 2-1 scores, it will speak volumes about the kind of pace he has in 2018. Hedrick has always been super fast. Plenty of the ATVriders.com fast qualifying awards. But this is a whole nother level. Last a second and listen to the fans. Dynamic performance in the second moto and he wins the overall at high point. Here are the results for Australia. Oh, what could have been? 
Here's the top three. Just finished up with Moto2 here at High Point. Um, great racing in Moto2, as well as Moto1. Uh, Moto1 actually got the whole shot, had a pretty bad uh, mistake that cost me to stall my bike. Kind of hurt my shoulder a little bit, but uh, regrouped, got back going, and caught back up to second. So actually ended up being a great race for me. Epic battles through the whole pack. It was insane. One of the hardest races I've raced all year. It's just a great day for me to win at the hometown. And uh, from what could have happened to what did happen, it was really great. So I'm happy to be on top spot again. And you know, we're still three points down, but uh, we got another good track. Muddy Creek coming up next, and uh, we're ready for it. So we'll see you there. Thank you. I uh, ended up winning uh, the first moto, second moto. Pulled the whole shot, uh, led. Every lap but two, and I uh, made a big mistake over on this step up, and uh, it was so tight out there, like, jumping up over that thing. Everybody's making mistakes all day, and uh, it's just unfortunate I made it then. And uh, Joel got around me, and he was able to go on to the win, but I never, never give up on it. And uh, you know, get a one-two for second overall, and uh, scratching on points. And you know, we're we're gonna head towards uh, Muddy Creek next, see what we can do there. You know, I kind of, kind of threw it away there with three laps to go. I, uh, I stalled the bike in a corner leading the race and, uh, you know, making the passes on Chad and going to the front and staying there for most of the race was awesome and uh, feels really, really good. Uh, you know, it's nothing to uh, be ashamed of. I'm up here on the podium and uh, really looking forward to uh, to the next race. And just, uh, I've always done good at Muddy Creek, so it's just, uh, it's just a stepping stone and uh, hopefully uh, get a better position there. Well, boys, I couldn't have said it better myself, but I will try. It's the Maxis race recap. Here's Hetrick's near crash while leading Moto1. That sent him all the way to the back of the pack. But there was still a challenge for Chad Wynn, and it was Jeff Rastrelli who took the lead. Hetrick, an epic come from behind ever to get the fourth. Then the leaders stall and tangle. Hetrick is able to get around Thomas Brown. Brown crashes trying to repass him. Wynn takes the Moto win. Moto2, Wynn with the lead. Hetrick has to make a pass on Rastrelli. He does. He puts all sorts of pressure on Wienan to the point where they were bumping in sections and Wienan off the track opens the door for Hedrick to win the moto and the overall. For everyone at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wygant. Congrats to Joel Hedrick. Thanks for watching ATV Motocross from High Point.